Hello class. Good morning. Uh, as you know, uh, I will teach you physics. Welcome to class ninth. My name is Akshay Chitranj. So, uh, our first lecture will be based on chapter motion. Okay. So first, we will start with the chapter motion. So you all know what is motion. Actually, uh, what is motion? Let's discuss about what is motion. Okay. So motion, an object is in motion when it changes its position continuously with respect to time. Means, अगर कोई object time के साथ साथ अपनी position change कर रहा है, तो हम consider करेंगे that object is in motion. Okay. For example, uh, suppose I'm standing here and if I'm not moving here and there after a time interval, you are still seeing me here, means I'm, my body is not in motion. Okay, time is passing but my body is remaining at the same position. But what happens when I comes in motion? So as you are, you are seeing that time is passing and my body is also changing its position with respect to time. Okay, so I will consider or you may consider me as I am in motion. Okay, so uh, it's very simple definition that an object is in motion. Koi object motion mein hota hai when it changes its position. Jab wo apni position change kar raha hai continuously with respect to time or you may write as or with respect to a reference point reference point reference point what do you mean by reference point reference point means suppose i consider this point as a reference point so after a time gap after 5 seconds you are seeing me at the same place so means my body is not moving from this reference point okay Suppose after 5 seconds, you are seeing me here, I am standing here, so my reference point was that, okay, a point which we consider kiya hai, us point se main kuch shift ho chuka hoon, iska matlab, I am changing my position, so I am in motion, so when a body is changing its position with respect to time, with, res uh, with respect to a reference point, Continuously, then that body is considered in motion. Okay, what about the uh, body is in rest? Suppose a body is not changing its position with, res uh, with respect to time and uh, with respect to a reference point, then that body is said to be in rest. Okay, if I'm staying at the same place at the at my same point. And the time is continuously passing means my I am in rest. Okay, my body is in rest. Okay, so let's discuss about types of motion. So you can see that this car is changing. Uh, if it is in motion, so it will change its position uh, after some time. It will be here. It will be here. So if it is changing its position continuously, means that car is in motion. Let's talk about types of motion. So there are two types of motion. First is uniform motion and the second one is non-uniform motion. First is uniform motion. Second is non-uniform motion. Okay. So look here. If a body covers equal distance in equal interval of time kya matlab hua koi body agar equal distances cover kar rahi hai equal time gap mein then that body is said to be under uniform motion that body is said to be under uniform motion what about non uniform non uniform motion if a body covers unequal distance in equal interval of time, means that body is in non-uniform motion. Uh, let's discuss it. Uh, let's uh, discuss it uh, about it with an example. Suppose you uh, your car started from Pili Okay, your car started from Pili 
and Bareilly is 50 kilometers away from Pilibit. And suppose uh, if you are going from Pilibit to Bareilly, you have taken a time of one hour. You have taken time of one hour. Okay. Suppose after Bareilly to uh, reach at a point X, let's consider a city that its name is X, and that city is also 50 kilometers away from Bareilly. Means again you are traveling that 50 kilometer distance and again you have taken a time gap of 1 hour. Suppose next station is also 50 kilometers away. So again you have taken a time gap 1 hour. Means you are covering equal distances in equal time interval. Is it clear? Means your car may be running from, your car is running with a speed 50 km per hour continuously ok so your car is in uniform motion but what happens if for traveling 50 km distance you covered one hour ok uh, and in next hour you travel 40 km in next hour you travel 60 km so your car is now not covering equal distances and equal interval of time. Means your car is in non-uniform motion. It's not traveling that distance with a uniform speed. Is it clear to you? Okay, let's discuss further. So now I will tell you some uh, new things. Okay, that I will discuss about types of physical quantities. Types of physical quantities. So first, uh, I will tell you about these two types. There are two types of uh, physical quantities. First is a scalar and the second one is vector. Okay. First is a scalar quantities. Second is vector quantities. Okay. A scalar quantities uh, have only magnitude. They have only magnitude. What do you mean by magnitude? Magnitude means a value. Magnitude means a value like your height your height is 5 feet 7 inches so 5 feet 7 inches is the magnitude of your height is it clear so your height is you may consider it as a scalar quantity is it clear to you let's talk about a vector quantity okay vector quantities have both magnitude and direction magnitude and direction Magnitude means the value as I told you and the direction means a specific direction means towards the north towards the south Okay, so let's I will discuss about it further as you move ahead Okay, so uh, now we will discuss about the difference between distance and displacement distance and displacement so what is actually distance? Distance is the total length of the path traveled. Okay. Suppose you started from your uh, uh, home and you went to your uh, school. So you started from your home and you moved towards the east direction 4 km and then you turn towards the south and then you travel 3 km. So what is the total length of the path you travel? You travel 4 plus 3, 7 km. You travel 7 km distance. Okay. So this is your uh, distance. Uh, this is about the distance you travel. Okay. Total length of the path. Now we will talk about the displacement. Okay. It's very simple. Displacement is the length of the shortest path. Means shortcut. Length of the shortcut. Okay. आपको यहाँ से घर से अपने स्कूल जाना था, आपने यहाँ से प्लेन पकड़ा, प्लेन पे आप बैठे और प्लेन पे बैठ के सीधे स्कूल आप पहुँच गए, right? So this is the shortcut path. Means you can say that the that is your home is your initial position, your starting point, okay? And your school is your destination point, okay? Means it's your initial position and it is your final position. So you may write it as Distance, the shortest distance between initial and final position. Okay, what, what you may write as shortest 
distance between initial and final position is it clear to you okay so this is the way you understand that so if you will calculate this distance so you may uh, see here it's a right angle triangle and when you will calculate so the pythagoras theorem uh, you will calculate it as 5 km so 5 km is the displacement okay and this displacement is in uh, is in which direction your school is in which direction from your home just see once what is that direction okay look here I'll draw it here only. Suppose it is east, this is south. So, isn't it that direction? So, this is southeast. This is southeast. Means displacement always has an direction. It always has a direction plus magnitude. So, you may remember about the vector quantity that. Uh, the quantity which has magnitude and direction both will be considered as a vector quantity. So it's very simple that displacement is a vector quantity. Okay. And the distance doesn't have any direction. Distance doesn't have any direction. That's why it is a scalar quantity. It has just magnitude. So 7 kilometers, uh, 7, 7 kilometers is the distance of your school from your home means it, is, it just has magnitude, not direction. So this is a scalar quantity. Is it clear? Rest of the things I will tell you in the next.